creating templates for your project management in monday.com is going to save you time, effort, energy, and probably money. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So as you can see here, I am in my monday.com system. This is an example monday.com system. Now you can see here, I've got this absolutely beautiful board number one and loads of time and effort has gone into building this board. I'm only joking, but just for an example, I'm going to go ahead and firstly save this board as a template so I can reuse this exact layout in the future. Okay, in order to do so, all you need to do is go to the three dotted button on the left hand side of the actual board. So board number one here, select the three dotted button, and then you have got a number of options. Go to the bottom here and just select save as template. Once you hit that option, you will be hit with this pop up menu here. I wouldn't worry about it. It just says only board owners can edit this template um, and everyone in your account can find it in the template center. So just do bear that in mind. And once you're happy, go ahead and press save as template. And now you've created a template inside of monday.com. Now, one thing to note, if I make changes to this board, this board is a standard template. So if I make changes to this board, it will reflect on every single new board I create from this template. So if I add a new column, the template will be updated as well, which is really, really helpful. So if I make changes just to optimize the way I'm managing this particular project, I wanna create new um, new templates from that, it's just gonna be automatically updated, which streamlines things significantly. We don't have to overwrite or create new templates every time you make a change. So now you're familiar with how to save a template or create a template, you're probably wondering, well, how do I use a template? Again, really easy to manually add a template that you have created, just go to the plus button on the far left hand side here and then we need to go and select choose from templates. So we're creating a new board, but we're going to choose from templates. So select that option here. And then on the left hand side, you'll be presented with a number of different options. We want to go ahead and select templates created in your account. So select this option and you can see here, we've got a number of different options because I was testing before I started this video. So go ahead and select board number one which is the one we've just created now. And all you need to do is press use template. Um, and then you need to give this a name. So I'm gonna call this example template board, and then just select your privacy options. So main being visible to everyone, private only being visible to yourself and people you want to have visibility or access to this board. Once you're happy, press create board. This should take a moment or two, and then it's automatically going to populate all of the information with all of the data points as well. So if I go to board number one, you can see here, it is literally identical to our example template board, as you can see with all the existing information as well. So if you are doing a project or client fulfillment, for example, and there are 20 different items that need to be completed for each of those or tasks, you could say for each of those clients, then it's going to be automatically populated. You don't need to rewrite that information. So it doesn't just save the board structure, it saves the board data as well. So now you're familiar with how to create a template, how to use a template, I'm going to show you how to automate the creation of a template. This is really useful. The way, the instances where I'd use this is, let's say I had my monday.com sales CRM and I closed one a new client, so a new deal has been won. What I automatically want to happen is a new template board is created for that client for the fulfillment process of the engagement. To do that, all you need to do is go to the automate button on the board that you would like to trigger the creation of the template from. So in this instance, I'm gonna use my board number one. So go to automate in the top right-hand corner, and then go to board automations. Now we need to go ahead and add a new automation. So press add automation on the right hand side here, and then go ahead and say, I need a trigger. So I'm gonna just select when status changes to something, but it can be whatever you like it to be. So when status, I'm gonna just select the status column changes to, and let's say done. So when status changes to done, then I need to go ahead and create. So just search create in the actions area and then select board from template, okay? So hopefully you're getting the idea now. So when status changes to done, create board from template. And the only thing we need to do is select the board that we're gonna use as our template. So board number one, the one that we just created is gonna be our template. We need to give it a name, but what we can actually do is automatically populate information from the item you can see here. So let's say the item name as our board name. So let's say it's a, like going back to my analogy of the sales CRM, I've just closed the client and I want the board name to be the client name. I can go ahead and press the plus button and select client name from the list of column options available and just add them in. And then we can select whether this board is going to be visible to everyone, uh, private, and then again, shareable. And then we've got some advanced options as well. 
So we can select which workspace this is going to be created in. If you've got multiple workspaces, you can define which workspace this board is going to be created in. And then even better, we can actually select the folder. So if you've got a client's folder as well, you can automatically create this board in that folder. We then got some more options. So we can select the board owners so we can automatically populate board owners and also automatically populate board subscribers as well. So you can do everything from this automation. And then as soon as that template is created, you just need to start fulfilling for the client if that's the example that you're using. So creating this automation is super simple. Once you're happy, just press the done button and then go ahead and press create automation as you can see here and then all I need to do is change the status of one item on this board to done and what's going to happen is it should trigger that automation and then automatically create a new board from the template and call it item 2 which is the name that we selected for the pre-population of that name of the board so I'll then head over to item 2 and you can see it is exactly the same as our example template board so very very useful feature it saves an enormous amount of time and make sure that if you're using it for projects or clients that everything is kept on track so thank you ever so much for watching if you need any help setting up monday.com for your business check out the link below we'd be delighted to help anyway I will see you soon thank you and goodbye